Good morning, everybody. Um, today I will be watching the gameplay overview trailer for A Plague Tale Requiem. Requiem? Requiem. Genuine first reaction. Let's get into it. Stay here and patrol. Report if you see one bloody rat. I knew it. I knew it. All right. Move her quick. Far across the sea, an island calls. The thing ever stays nice. It always turns bad. Things aren't always nice. You can change them. How? The way we always do. We fight! How far will you go to save the ones you love? This lady's a Plague Tale Requiem picks up a few months after the end of Innocence, right around the first days of summer. Amicia and Hugo are headed south, along with their mother Beatrice and the young alchemist Lucas, reaching places still spared by the... Alchemy, we all know how that ends. ...by the devouring plague, the raging wars, and the rabid rats that are running rampant in the north. Is that a fair? Beneath the warm sun of 14th century Provence, the Darunes are almost able to enjoy a normal life. You're great! Yeah! But for a recurrent dream that Hugo has been having, of a mysterious island that calls him. Island. How come nobody noticed their disappearance? Maybe nobody cares. Maybe. One day, the macula illness that's been dormant inside Hugo awakens, and the dreaded living nightmare begins again. In the wake, Amicia finds herself with no other choice but to trust her brother's dreams and head further south towards the elusive island before he's consumed by the terrible macula affliction. The bite, yes. They've locked the arena down. They let them die here. I've missed that, right? It's starting all over again. Her mind is made up. She will find a cure in what dreams and prophecy may hold. With almost no one they can trust, this is your life now. Amicia and Hugo must traverse land and water as restless forces stand against them. Amicia! You all right? After the events of last winter, Amicia is hardened, experienced, and when backed against the wall, can be surprisingly resourceful. With several new tricks up her sleeve, she is now able to freely choose between striking from the shadows or unleashing hell with a variety of equipment and tools. I'm assuming that your mastery of alchemy is going to be one of the like the, the main attributes of your character. It's one of the things that's going to really unlock the gameplay of the of the game, essentially. Hugo wants more than ever to help his big sister and not hinder their progress. We need to leave or we'll doom everything. The macula within him is a double-edged sword that has deepened his connection with the rats. The rats. They can feel people's blood. Now I can too. This powerful ability can decimate entire squads of soldiers but takes a severe toll on Hugo every time he uses it. What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> Thankfully, their journey brings not only hardship, but also unexpected friends. These colorful characters help the Daroons carry their terrible burden. It's not my first time. While offering unique skills and resources to bring them closer to their elusive goal. Wait. For Amicia and Hugo, 
The road ahead will test the limits of what they can endure on all levels, and just how far they're willing to go. Reaching the island is only the first step to truly understanding the terrible affliction that's stricken their family as the lines between reality, fantasy, and fate dissolve, keeping it together and finding the cure to save Hugo will be nothing short of a miracle. But Amicia has hope, and hope is the last thing lost. Others have burned in it. If you kill, be ready to be killed. No! No, no! A Plague Tale Requiem releases October 18th on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, PC, and Nintendo Switch. Requiem. That was pretty cool. Requiem. That's pretty cool. I'll, I'll okay. still stick to Requiem. The study is wild. <laughs> Sick is the emphasis word there, right? Yeah. Like, the storyline is... It, it sort of goes back to the... What was it? The Black Plague? Yeah. All I get is Black Plague vibes. The, the significance of the rat, are we talking about like the plague from Europe times, um, Black Plague? Even the the way they model the city, the like the villages where they had the fear, like there's so much like imagery that just takes you back to a different time, like a simpler time, and it, I don't know, it's so immersive. I think the visuals are great. I love the setting. Beautifully put together. Yeah. Um, if, if what we see in the gameplay trailer translates through into actual gameplay, yeah, definitely. That's a beautiful world that they put together. The setting is really nice. I don't think I've ever played a, a game set in Provence. That's south of France, if I'm not mm. mistaken. But the writing seems to be good, mm. which is very important. I'm assuming focus would be on the two main characters, yeah. but it would be nice to switch. It's a beautiful game. Very real trailer. Like it's almost like a history game about like what happens during the playing and whatnot and how it affected people. Mysterious element with I think his name was Hugo, the kid. I had no expectations coming into this. Mm. So I don't know what to expect. I heard the name, I was like, no idea. And having watched the trailer, it actually does look pretty damn cool. Yes. And it's cool that it comes on multiple platforms. Yeah, on PS5, cool. it's gonna look freaking awesome. Yeah. Uh, it looks crisp, yeah. it looks very interesting. Can't wait to play. <clears throat> I mean, it's probably not my usual genre of game that I would play, but I would love to play this. <laughs> on the 18th of October, I'm pre-ordering. Insane. On kudu.co.za. Be quick.